Hi guys. So I hope the new format's not too confusing. Uh, I should remember this time to put uh, a little text message at the end of this recording. Oh. That made a sound. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's my Decius. Well, he lost the city, that's for sure. Oh, let's have a look up there for a moment. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she cut him off. It'll be interesting to see if she can hold that. I mean, it's a long way from her... Yeah, look, it's a long way from her next city. Okay, yeah, he's got his axe up. Okay. Nasty. Nasty. Um, we were Garrison there. We've just got through our um, stasis world spell, which pauses everything for 20 turns. Ah, uh, yes, we were waiting for the arrival of Baron Duin Halfmoon. In Madonna. The priests of Comrond Moor have been enacting a ritual. Um, to bring him back to life. I don't know quite, you know, I don't know the actual real backstory of this character um, in terms of how he actually departed from the world and how he comes back to life uh, but maybe I'll do something kind of like semi I kind of create a little story so through this whole period where we've been enacting this spell to bring him back to life um, so terrible was his kind of like reputation and history that maybe when he finally did fall um, he was sort of like cut into pieces and spread around the land so my if you like my spies uh, and maybe acolytes of Priest of Leaves have been like combing the land trying to find these pieces to bring back together and they've like sort of assembled the him in Radona ready for the spell to to bring life back into him I mean it might explain how he looks <laughs> because the graphic for him I mean the picture is awesome like you know and in the in the kind of the what do they call this in the Civilopedia um, let's find what would he be He'd be a hero wouldn't he yeah this his picture here is great um, <laughs> his model looks a bit like a, I don't know looks a bit like a fancy dress thing so it's a bit, I imagine maybe when he was in wolf form, he was sort of slaughtered and like dismembered, let's say. Um, and then a bit like a taxidermist, he's sort of been treated and stuffed. So it all looks a little bit stiff. Um, and so the pieces have been assembled in Radona and the, the ritual has, has been launched. I hear what you're saying, Mahala, but um, yeah, it's too far away. It's not bothering us. Sorry. Excellent. I think we're gonna build a few longbowmen. Oh, I could actually. Hmm. 
Mm. Let's see, is it? Let's just see. There he goes. Yeah, okay, it needs to be a living unit. I was just testing. I think it has to be a living, or, you know, like a... Oh, I'm not sure. A flesh and blood sort of unit. Or maybe it was just purely a percentage thing. So that's our first army awaiting. Oh, it's encroaching. Slowly it's pushing its influence onto the land. Yeah. Oh, and there, look at them. So we need to build... So we've got another longbow there, another longbow there. Uh, he is going to go... Let me just click on it again. So how many... So it's a 75% chance. So maybe just the 75% chance of getting a ravenous werewolf didn't trigger on that when we destroyed the skeleton. Um, so we'll see. We'll keep going and see what happens next. Uh, okay, enter. Enter. Okay, we did a forge. Uh, we were going to start churning out some catapults from there, I think. Okay, here's another one. We're going to go through the usual kind of promotions. He now is going to go to Murus Bane. Hmm, not sure. So they'll, they'll, this little place will carry on getting a little bit of action from the various barbarian units around, so that's kind of good for them. We'll put the bottom sentry. And there was something actually I just got reminded of that we need to do there. I'd foolishly sent my settlers away. I hope I've still got time. Um, not settlers, my workers. Um, Okay, that's that done. So let's go back to... Because one of the things that happens... Ah, I'm too late. One of the things that happens with uh, the, f the deciduous forests within the Fellowship of Leaves boundaries is it turns into ancient forest. Once it has turned into an ancient forest, you can't do anything with it. Um, when it's in its normal forest state, it's possible to build um, a lumber mill on them um, to give you the production bonus and stuff and then when it transforms into the ancient forest you get another production boost but with the one d with the mill intact but you have to do it before it transforms into the ancient woodland so I need to yeah let me just scan around is there anywhere I mean most of our place is really treeless we sort of our civilization is almost in like a desert band region. I guess that's why the trees were so precious to us. And then there's a lot of jungle, which doesn't transform in the same way. Now, one thing I'm considering is because there's this sort of like middle flatland where these other horse are. Um, I'm considering putting in another city somewhere around here, but I don't. The trick is not to get it to clash. Not to get it to clash and to try and get as many tiles as possible. So this is desert, desert. 
that is floodplain. So there's two desert tiles here. So if I put it somewhere like that, it would have that one in its border. And it won't clash. It won't clash with anything else that we need to worry about. Um, then if I put it maybe here. It's a floodplain, floodplain. That might be better because we'd get the horse there. We'd have a bit of production. I'd get that one instead. Um, it could be nice because this was where Mocha was defeated. So maybe as a memorial to that we could put, put a city. So we do have a spare set there. It's going to be pretty weak though because there's no hills. And say so like there. the limit I mean that could work but there's no defense on that tile what about there it would be one forest tile I mean it would be more defensible and it wouldn't Clash. Oh yes it would, we'd, we'd be fighting for this tile and that will clash. Oh well, that's annoying. That will be two tiles. Yeah I kind of feel maybe this middle region. Maybe, maybe here. We'd have one, two, Two forest tiles, a mountain, the horses. Um, so I'd have to give the longbow being built, I'd have to give it um, just a flat city defense promotion. Um, I don't think there's any danger. I just want to get these out in preparation so I don't forget. And then this guy's just going. A sentry. So we're going to get a longbow. This longbow here is going to go for defense of this new town here. This longbow will go up to the front for the second army. Um, the, that'll stop producing catapult. Yeah, I think that's okay. Do I want to change any of our civics? Oh yeah, I do. Is it time to transition away? Might be. Medium upkeep, low upkeep. Yeah, that could be quite nice. Um, and then... That might be a good choice. So we're going to conquest theocracy revolution. And just see how that all looks. We might have to juggle around our science and culture rate boosts and stuff. They're not coming to bother me at the moment. So our little ranger guy's doing his job well up here. Hiding in those 
Hills Jungle. Baron. Oh yeah, of course we had a, a pause. So we're still earning some gold. When do I do that? No, we're losing. Okay, so I have to stick at 70. Yeah, the culture boost I don't want to take down, so I'm trying to push off. Trying to get some cohesion and join all this together. Uh, okay, so we'll do another quick end turn. to do with money, proving money, or culture and happiness. Okay, I guess it's kind of all time. We did a lighthouse, it's nice. We're a bit sick now apparently, so we need something. Oh, I've got a few. Yeah, I saw an option. So maybe we'll do grand rates just very quick. going to stay there. Did we want to put, yeah I think we did, we wanted to put, where are they? So that's going to be, if you like, the main strike force. This is going to be more of a defensive. So this guy hasn't cast, so he can join them. Sorry, my cat's being annoying and trying to scratch at things. Um, what else? I think that's it, and then we'll bring up some other bits and pieces um, from further down over here. So he'll definitely take a longbowman, I think. Okay, yeah, that's the promotion for the iron weapon. We don't, yeah, maybe, maybe some chariots. I think they'd be quite effective. Could do some more money as well. Okay, maybe a quick boost of cash. Does this one have anything? No. Um. So maybe we'll do a horse archer. So this oh. so somebody's doing things. And um, where are we gonna so we said we were gonna cut park up on here, but we are gonna be down on the flay on the plane. So maybe maybe I'll do that. And maybe that. Yeah, so he's now gonna go and join the Baron. Actually, I should fly over this one every time because it does it gets that same lower bit that we're interested in. And yeah, that's good. So this guy was going to be. You could take that horse as well, actually. Yeah. Okay, I think we'll do all that. <laughs> 
gonna take everybody. I'm gonna head off. And that's the northern guy. Yeah, between the two, we uncover all of this territory here, so we keep an eye on the eyeball room and his guys. Yeah, I think they're planning to stick a stick another one over here somewhere, so we need to get those troops in position fairly quick. Still feel like I need a couple more. So he's just got a longbow and horse archer there. I think it's the same there. Yeah, we're quite thin down that side, but there isn't really a threat on that side to us in particular, so we should be fine. Excellent. Yeah, that. So that's the upgrade to the Ranger. So the Ranger's strength 7, those Beastmasters are 14, so it's like a double strength. Um, very powerful unit. Um, you're limited to how many you have. Um, so that gives me an option now. I might actually build a couple of them, switch them around with the maybe the, any experienced guys we've got. Um, so that could be good. Ooh, science has gone down a bit. Oh, yes, it has, yeah. Um, so maybe some, some mathematics. We'll put our science up. Um, yeah, we'll do another one. We need to focus on anything for maybe science up here. Boltagar. Maybe a pagan temple. Um, I think actually while we're here, we'll do a road. Find that guy over that way. Yeah, so now we've got Theocracy. I'm getting double promotion for new units. Built in any city, so that's really, really good. Um, there you go that. We decided to fly over here. Because we just want to go and check out Mahala and see what she's up to. Yeah, so she's been emptying her cities a little bit. Okay, the sons of the center have moved, all over there all along. And I think I saw... Yeah, so she's sending some up. I mean, there's some... There's been terrible fires going on up here, it's quite weird. Still seems like she just has that one city up there. find a way to boost money and science. Probably two things I can build. Do another 
Passage. So this you need. I might need to be in a, a city that has a hunting lodge in it to do the promotion, possibly. I think I'll keep him there. I'll keep him there. That's his job. This guy will see if we can get him promoted somewhere. Um, it might be they need to be a certain level, a bit like with the uh, fawns, they have to be level 4 before you can promote them to the Sata unit. So maybe the the Ranger to Beastmaster um, promotion needs more experience than what I've got. Uh, in which case I can just directly build a couple. Um, yeah, I'm sort of happy having Plane Rangers out doing the spying stuff. Um, maybe then I can reserve the Beastmasters for my armies because they're like, you know, a powerful unit. That might work better. Okay, so in turn, yeah, our money's going down and not. I'm sort of still there. I did a monument. I guess, yeah, I'm gonna mark it in there now that they're connected. I built a road. I built another one. Okay, so he'll stay. Do I have a hunting lodge? I don't. Um, so it might be... Where do I have a hunting lodge? <laughs> do you have one? No. Um, that might be the new spot. Get on off you go. Okay, good, they got that. Good one, stand by. Yeah, they're just. Well, they are scouts and they're scouting. I don't have anything to strike them with at the moment. I think they're going to try and come through here. So if I can get that other city in quickly before they get through, that might be a good idea. I haven't really got anything else to boost the money in this place. City. Oh. Okay, I did have hunting watch there. Uh, okay, so these guys can't be promoted. That's fine. So I will just simply send him back. Uh, right. But yeah, I wonder if 
got a feeling he's gonna take a drew. Well, we shall see. I think that's what he's doing. It looks like it. Or he's just patrolling his lands, I'm not sure. So do the money changer. So we wanted to do... Oh, actually... Why don't I have that unit? Oh, I need a grove to build the Beastmaster. That's what I need. Okay, well, that's that would work perfectly because we've got the grove here, in fact, in this ancient um, sacred forest outside the capital. So it's 11 turns, but it would fit in nicely. It would make sense this one doesn't have it, because there isn't one there. Um, so maybe, maybe it's time for cheap units like Axemen Champions. So you've got a carnival. What could we build here? Maybe something to boost science, five turns isn't very expensive. Now it's suggesting there, which I th think isn't what I wanted. I wanted the horse. So we're going to go there. This is Gainey. So that's our defensive unit. Um, across the river, so we're taking a, a hit from the crossing river, but we're that strong that we should do it. Uh huh. Now then, what can you guys do? So we're connected by a road. Let's. Split them up. And we will leave it there for this first part. So I'll get that saving. Um, so it's just a case of building those armies, um, keeping an eye on Hyborium. Uh, actually, what I will do is, yeah, let me put him there, just in case. So, see you next time, guys. Bye for now.